one of the greatest tragedies that I ever experienced in my life. And it was indeed a tragedy. Was pouring out my soul to a young lady that uh, didn't love me as much as I loved her. Or to be perfectly honest, at the end of the day, I can say, didn't really love me. Maybe at some point in time throughout the relationship, she loved me to some point. She may have loved me because of convenience, because I believe that true love uh, is forever. It's uh, without condition. And I learned that throughout my life. You don't put uh, conditions on love. When you see someone, you don't say, well, I loved you, but if you get old, I don't love you or older, I don't love you. Or if you gain weight, I won't love you any longer. Or if you become ill, I won't love you. Or um, if you get pregnant, I won't love you. Those are not reasons you just don't do that. Whatever happened to the old marriage vow, through better or worse, through sickness, through health, till death do us part. Those were some very valid words in that marriage vow. People don't even use that vow those words or sentiments anymore. They make things up that they really don't mean. Whatever happened to that? That unconditional love? Do you hear that anymore? Or do people mean that anymore? Or are they just uncaring? You see, I love this person unconditionally. And at some point in time, they just became cold. And they turned on me as if they were my enemy because they wanted to live a different type of life because I had standards and I had principles. And what's interesting is that I had these principles from the very beginning and I never changed as a person never changed. I was always the same. I was never mean, never mean-spirited, never talked down on them, never physically abused them, never verbally abused them. But they wanted to live a different life and thinking as the old cliche goes or adage, the grass was greener on the other side because they wanted to experience another type of life. I actually experienced this in my life. This is a true story. And then they hit the wall at some point in time. They really did. And they were not happy. But the funny thing or odd is that I believe they wanted to come back when they realized that they made a bad decision, but they couldn't come back because I couldn't accept them back because I was devastated by what they did. I was not torn, but I was 
so hurt because I was totally committed to my relationship to this person and believing that they were committed in the very beginning and to find out midstream that they were not. I was just so shaken. I didn't know what to do. But this was a lesson learned, a very, 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 very valuable lesson learned. And never to return to a situation like that again in my life. And I'm so happy and so grateful to the Creator, to the Almighty, to God for that lesson. Things don't happen to you in life for no reason at all. And I would never let myself experience anything like that again. And I would see it coming very clearly again. You have to be very careful how you choose your partners in life. Everything that shines and glitters is not gold. It's not. So be very careful how you choose your partners. Make sure that you get to know people very, very well at first. Take a smile on your face and say all of the things that you think you want to hear. The devil disguises himself very, very well. You know? He does. He's very good at that. And uh, sometimes we're very vulnerable. Those of us who are seeking out a companion in our lives. And especially if you've already gone through a bad relationship in your lives. I'm just letting you know. If you've gone through a bad relationship already, be very careful. Be weary. Before you pick out another mate and don't go looking for a mate let the almighty find you someone let it happen in his time don't go out there looking for somebody because you might just find the wrong somebody you know and when you happen upon that person make sure that you have the right things in common and that that person compliments you and that you're not looking for a person just for aesthetic reasons how they look on the outside and people will say things to you that you want to hear that means absolutely nothing okay you might get a plain Joe or a plain Jane and that might be the person that you're looking for you may not get a, a, a pretty or a beautiful person might not be a, a, a stud you know they may not be making six figures, you know. It might just be an average looking Joe. And that might be the person that you're looking for and that you need. That's really it. So, I just thought I would share that with you. May the Most High continue to bless and keep all of you. Have a great day.